good. Skadoosh. What's up, boys? Oh, I forgot to wax my stash. That's yeah, a rip. It would have dehydrated in about. Five I'm also minutes. sad I didn't buy Squirtle glasses. You know, you know, same. The circle, like I was gonna get the big ones and then like tell everybody else to the get the circle ones. ones. Yeah, I was gonna get the actual like squad leader glasses and then have everyone else get the circle ones. Been so good. But, yeah, we're on our way to Squirtle Community Day. We we're, there's a Roselia here. Oh my gosh, it's just regular Roselia. Like, why would you do that? 1001. Why would you do that? I got. What are you doing? I didn't vlog it, but Articuno Day was yesterday. Right before, we're, we're all, there's a ton of us waiting on this gym for the Articunos to just pop up. And then we got two lured Pokestops, so we're, you know, checking shiny checks. Roselia, shiny for me. Full odds, shiny Roselia. And then right after that, we do the, Art the Articuno spawns right after. I was like, yes, I'm feeling so good. And then I get a shiny Articuno. Let's Articune go. First one, there's another Roselia. There's, I checked the I'm not gonna react crazy for this shiny, so. It's not, it's fairly large. But yeah, so I got a shiny Roselia and then instantly after a shiny Articuno. And then I ended up getting a second shiny Articuno. We did, I caught every Articuno. We did 15 in three hours. 15, I got two shiny Articunos. Uh, Zach, Kyle's brother, got two shiny Articunos. The younger bros. There was like 50 people, and then after five, because you get five free raid, pa raid passes, there was like, yeah. less, like less than 10. Yeah, but I had like 40 raid, raid passes saved up, so. Yeah, so that was Articuno Day. It was really fun. Uh, it it felt more frantic than like a community day because we're not walking. We're not just we're like driving. casually walking. We're driving to the next raid and stuff. So, But I hope they do a lot more. You know, it's we can presume that Moltres and Zatos will happen. But yeah, we're going to meet up with the boys. And then we're gonna go for a squirtle. Whoa! Boys! Oh, it's a park. We're in the great city of Ann Arbor. Oh, yeah, Look at that mural. Yeah. You guys see that? I don't even know. But yeah, we're ready. We got half an hour to do some stuff. We're doing an Aerodactyl raid. And then community today starts shortly after. Oh, it's so bright. It's so bright, Blake. I'm bringing my backpack. Blake's not bringing his backpack. You wanna put the sunscreen in my bag then? Oh, where am I gonna put Remember your Squirt sunscreen, boy. boys. Where am I gonna put Squirt boy? Put them in your pocket. Okay. Mm. Did you take the little hook off of them? Yeah. It was not a sturdy hook. What are you going to do, Blake? Look. Perfect. There we go. Blake's got his good luck charm. Look at this. We're ready. What the heck, Blake? Everyone's... We all just checked Bulbasaur's. our Bulbasaur's from a research. Blake's is shiny. Shiny? Shiny. No big deal. I'll freaking catch that, you monster! Alright, boys. The Squirtles have spawned. First Squirtle. I'm ready to check them. Not shiny. Kyle's first Squirtle. Gotta relog so I can click them. Oh, we, we lagging. There's one. First Squirtle. Not shine. Oh, Drew, I thought you were shine. not shine. Still shine. loading. Oh, the tackle. There's second okay. Squirtle. Not shine. Wait, you see two squirtles? Skin real and tail, yep. yep. One on each oh, side. All right, I'm gonna check my researches. These should be squirtle. Let's skedaddle. Wait, mine just loaded. It doesn't have squirtle squad. No squirtle squad glasses, boys. It must have to come from the other one. Yeah, it makes sense. But theoretically, it could have been shiny. You know what? But, all right, another squirtle. All right, we're gonna keep I our search going. And we'll see it with more updates. Yeah. All right, first shiny boys. I got it right away. Three minutes in. Finally, let's go. I'm trying to record with my camera on a mini metal music stand. So if you're wondering why it might be a weird angle. What's up guys? So Squirtle Squad Community Day was a while ago. Uh, it's almost gonna be a week soon. It's Thursday. Um, I didn't, I just, we got caught up playing, you know, that's the joy of Pokemon Go, but I just basically wanted to go over some numbers, so I finally got in contact with our whole group from last month, and we counted how many shiny Larvitars we got. So, the Larvitar count was, Blake got six, Sean got four, 
Will got four, Zach got four, Kyle got nine, and he wasn't there, we were using his phone. Trevor got two, Drew got five, Devin got four, and Kayla got seven, and I got 11. And I added it all together, where's the number? So our total was 56, and there was 10 of us. So 56 shiny Larvitars total. I feel like there was an average of like five. Probably I didn't do the math. I don't. I don't want to do that quick math, but it's probably around five. And then the next month, the Squirtles, Squirtle Day. Drew did the numbers here. Thank you, Drew. So Squirtle Day of the month or this month. Blake got 7, Drew got 10, I got 10, Kayla got 13, and Kyle got 15. And those are only the Squirtles without the shades. And um, he doesn't have our exact numbers, but we basically got the same number of them with shades. We averaged it at 13, but I'm pretty sure we got, I got 14. I'm pretty sure most of us got 14. So. We got 55 non-shade shiny Squirtles. So 55 of the base shiny Squirtle, which is one lower than what we got for Larvitar. And we had half as many people. So we, we got super lucky with Squirtle Day. And then we had the shades on top of that, which we got more of. We all got more shades than we got non-shades, except Kyle, which is... Kyle's going crazy now. He's ramping it up, man. But we got over 100 total shiny Squirtles, which is insane. It it felt awesome. I think the very first uh, research we finished during the event gave us a shiny Squirtle squad. So that kind of set the tone for the whole event, which is pretty cool. So I doubt anybody watching, I doubt any of you guys are actually going to go to GoFest. I just feel like, you know, we got low audience if you are, please let me know, because I'm going. I'm going to go fast, and if someone is watching me and they're going, it'd be so cool to like trade a Pokemon with you, you know? Because I'm going to be trying to get a Venonat from a lot of the YouTubers, the Pogo YouTubers. Big, uh, big goal of mine is to get a bunch of Venonats, because Venonat's my Pokemon. And I wanted to share a little story. I rewatched my very first Pokemon Go video, which was on my other channel that is now a music channel. So before it was a music channel, like the day one, I was watching and it's crazy. I found a gym that had never had a Pokemon yet. So I was the first person to put a Pokemon into a gym. And it was day, I think it was day two, because day one it was like at night, basically when they announced it here. So it was the next day. I put a Venonat in that gym. And I was like catching these Venonats. So like, I always figured my Venonat craze was later on in my Pogo career, but it was day one that Venonat some, for some reason became a thing. And since then, I've caught every Venonat I've seen, I've tried. I ball glitch a lot when there's shiny, because there's shiny checks now, and like I gotta go for the shiny checks when even when there's Venonats, but I still like ball glitch. Like let me, uh, let me grab this real quick. load well that's unfortunate it's not loading Hi. take care take care <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys like I don't it's something weird like a lot of people they have like a favorite Pokemon and it might be like you know an early on Pokemon they put on their team that you know they didn't know what to expect and then it like became amazing and it like really helped or something. But I for some reason have a favorite Pokemon for like every time there's a Pokemon game, every time I have a Pokemon experience, I gain another favorite Pokemon and it's basically that favorite Pokemon for that game. And now it's Venonat. I've seen 1,368 and caught 1,218. That's crazy. I used to evolve them for experience during Lucky Eggs. So sadly, I don't have like as much candy as that should show that I have, but I have a fair bit. You'd think I'd have around 5,000 probably, I'd say, if I've caught 
1200 because you do the math 1200 times three and that or time yeah times three and then there's variables like panapping which I've done a lot but uh, let's see I have I'm walking Venonat because I don't need anything else. I have 4,451 Venonat candy. Hello. So that's my bud. See, it's crazy. And I still haven't gotten a perfect one. That's what I want. But, yeah, basically I want to collect Venonats from people that I meet. That'll, that'll be like my thing. Collecting Venonats. So, that's just something I wanted to say. Um, yeah, I'm going to end it here. I haven't been doing too much playing on, out there because I fractured my toe. So hopefully I'm A-OK -okay for GoFest. But yeah, just wanted to add some clarity to last month's Community Day video and to this one. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys later. Also let me know if you like want more footage of us during the event. Like you want us to just vlog what we're doing and all the goofy stuff we do. Let, let me know. We'll see you guys later. Peace out.